Dear listener, welcome to Hour of Destiny devotional with Reverend Mike Inula of Habitation of Winners Ministry International. Happy listening. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Friday, the 14th day of October, year 2022. Open your heart this morning and receive today's prophetic prayers and spiritual blessing. Somebody is hearing me this morning. God sent me to you. There's somebody hearing me today. You are always being misunderstood. No matter how polite you present your matter or case, no matter how civil you try to be, no matter how you try to be polite, how you try to be diplomatic, no matter how you try to be nice, people always misunderstand you. And this has been giving you a lot of concern. Nobody seems to want to agree with you or understand you even for a second. I want to pray for you this morning. You are the one that God is sending me to. That that situation, it is a demonic attack against your destiny. And I come against it today in Jesus' name. I am praying for you today. That stigma, that evil mark on you that makes people not want to associate with you wherever they find you or wherever you find yourself. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, I use the blood of Jesus Christ to erase it totally from your body, both from the spirit realm and in the physical. In Jesus' name, I am praying that from today, you will no longer be misunderstood, most especially on sensitive matters and issues that has to do with life in Jesus' name. I am praying for you today. The Bible says that righteousness exhort a nation. I pray that the Lord will exhort you as you continue to live a righteous and a holy life. The mighty hand of God we come upon you and your family today in Jesus' name. Today, I also want to pray for our children, our young men and our young ladies. Sometimes the way children behave these days is becoming so unbecoming. A lot of parents sending messages to us that, Daniela, please pray for my son. I remember a woman that sent me a message some time ago. I said, that Daniela, the message you preached this morning is as if you were in our house yesterday. I and my husband, we called our son and we're talking to him about his life. After we were through, the father got up and the young man stood up and faced the mother and said, when next you talk to me like that, I will show you who I am. That is not a good one for a mother, for a son to say that to his mother. I am praying. Maybe you are hearing me this morning as a mother or as a father. The lifestyle of your sons and daughters are becoming so embarrassing and be giving you concern. I pray that the Lord will change them. Some of them are have gone into drugs, some of them are into smoking and living all kind of wayward life. I pray that the mighty hand of God will change the stories in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you as a mother or you as a father that you are getting fed up because of your child, I am praying that the Lord will change the narratives in their lives. Jesus Christ will encounter that young man. Jesus Christ will encounter that young lady. They may be going away today. They may be going astray, but I decree that they will not finally go away. The Lord will double cross them and bring them back to the right track. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I receive. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now let's go straight to hear the word of life and see what the Lord has for us today. Today is Friday. Let me see how, if I can be able to summarize and just to round up on the subject of your location. I'm still taking it from my book, The Backside of Life. The chapter three dwells specifically on your location. I told us how it is important for you to know where God wants you to be. You don't just see all your friends, your friends and your colleagues are moving and you move with them. Even if you are two in Taiwan and Kende, you may come to the world the same day, but may not be destined to live together in the same city. So yesterday we began to look at what to do in your location. I say number one, once you get settled in your location, then you need to be focused. 
You need to live a focused and a balanced life. Know what God wants you to do. Know what you are called to do in that city and be focused. Today, we are going to be looking at two points. Number one, now that which is number two now, be prayerful. Yesterday, we said number one, be focused. Today, number two, be prayerful. When you get to your location, cultivate the habit of praying. I want to read a paragraph from the book, The Backside of Life, said to be prayerful. I mean, to be persistent in prayer. Also, you should cultivate the habit of praying for those who have gone ahead of you, that God will help them to end well. According to Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to 8, Jesus talked about persistency in prayers. No one will remain on one spot forever. The leading people on the track now, they got there after the exit of some others. I am not saying until someone dies before God can raise you up. No, or not at all. But the truth is that some will be there before others. So you need to be very prayerful. Learn how to pray. I told us yesterday how I got myself engaged. For the first few weeks I got to us to the city where we are, I got myself just me alone. Soak the ground with prayers, committing the work to God's hand, and then we leave the rest for God. So you must live a focused life, and then you must be prayerful. You must get yourself soaked in prayers, and all will be well with you. Number three, what to do in your location, very, very important and very essential. I say number three, ask questions. There are times you need to sit down, ask yourself some pertinent questions, Ask God some question. Many people don't know that you can actually talk to God like the way you talk to your spouse. Like see if you are seeing him face to face. You can ask him questions and he will answer you. Many people don't know that God is interested in their questions. On that third point, I put that say, learn how to ask questions. He will let you know his plans and purpose for your life. There was a time I became so discouraged and I felt like giving up. I said to God, Lord, you are the one who asked me to take all the steps I've taken so far. Why is it that you have not brought me to the right place? I asked God. I asked God that question. God, why are you treating me like this? I remember one day, I've said it before, I was sweeping. I was sweeping no primary school classroom when we were doing church. I was sweeping and I was crying. As I was sweeping it, I was crying. I said, God, why is, what is the meaning of this? I thought they said there is no repeat in the minute. Why am I repeating this level that I've passed some years ago? And the Lord said, son, you are not repeating. It is just a process you are going through. So when you get to your land of location, number one, learn how to be focused. Don't go about looking for things that, that are not matter and not relevant to you. Focus, be focused on your work. Number two, be prayerful engage in prayer let prayer become a habit to you pray pray on all issues then number three ask questions you can ask god questions you can ask questions from those that have gone ahead of you i remember when the lord asked me to relocate i didn't just pack my bag and baggages and my family and move i asked questions i call one or two friends that have taken such steps before me whom i knew now, God actually told them to relocate. I asked them, how did you do it? How do I go about this? And some of the tips they gave me helped me to today. You don't know it all. You are, nobody has monopoly of knowledge or anything. Ask questions when it is necessary. I pray for you this morning as we round up on this subject, your location. I pray that the Lord will lead you. David said, he lead me in the path of righteousness. He leads me beside the still waters. When God leads a man, when God leads you, when you allow God to lead you, you will always find favor. You will always find happiness and fulfillment. But if you put aside the leading of God, you allow economy to lead you. You allow politicians to lead you. You allow situation and condition to lead you. You are not going to enjoy yourself. Maybe the ministry is not booming where you are. And somebody is a political advisor to governor or so and say, look, pastor, let us relocate. And you relocate. Then that person has become your God. Stay where you are. Know your location because that is where your allocation will come. When you are in your location, you get your allocation. But if you live where God asks you to stay, the ravens will come to where God asks you to stay. Unfortunately, if you are not there, the ravens will not come to look for you in the location where you send yourself. The ravens will only come 
to the place where the Lord instructed them to go and look for you. I pray for you today that you will not miss God's provision. You will not miss his anointing. You will not miss his favor and grace upon your life. If you have left where God asked you to stay, I pray that the grace and the boldness to do the right thing, I pray you will receive today. And maybe as you hear me this morning, you are about taking a step, a vital step. I pray the grace to rethink and to do well come upon you. I pray today we end well for each of us in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Have a wonderful Friday and a peaceful weekend ahead in Jesus' name. Amen. Daily as I live, oh, as I breathe, let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Hour of Destiny, presented by Reverend Mike Inula of Habitation of Winners Ministry International. We invite you to worship with us on Sunday by 8.30 a.m. and Wednesday, 5 p.m. Venue, His Glory Cathedral of Habitation of Winners Church after Waiek Office along Cruiser Road, Lokoja, Kogi State, Nigeria. For prayers and counseling, contact us on 0806-211-5571 or 0803- Seven nine seven four seven four eight. Rose Form produced the program. Thank you for listening and God bless you. Hey, we-